A $30,000 reward is being offered to track down the killer who shot an off-duty Sheriff's Department security officer in July. The 33-year-old victim was killed while dropping off his son in the 1,000 block of West 76th Street in South L.A. KCAL 9's Greg Mills has details. It's been a difficult couple of months for those close to Calvin Gray. Yeah, I miss him so much. He was shot to death here on West 76th Street in Los Angeles moments after he dropped his son, Calvin Jr., off with his mom after a basketball game. As Calvin Jr. got out of the car, the suspects rolled up alongside and opened fire. LAPD Detective Tim Marsha says they need help in finding the shooter. Nobody has come forward with information. A number of people who live along here told us they heard it. Nobody saw it, but a lot of them heard it. What they heard was they heard gunshots, and then they heard a crash. What happened was Gray drove down two doors and then crashed into a number of cars right here in front of this tree. Gray worked for the L.A. County Sheriff's Department on the security force here at UCLA Harbor Medical Center in Torrance. He did that for four years. Today, the Professional Peace Officers Association and the County Board of Supervisors said they are offering a combined reward of $30,000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the killer. He was very, very close to me. That's why it's so hard for me to let him go. Gray lived with his mom. He and his former girlfriend had three children, two boys and a daughter, Lauren. I was his only girl, and I used to get spoiled. Police have no motive for the murder of Calvin Gray. They told us they determined he was arguing with somebody in a car just before he was shot. Police believe at least two people were in that car, and one fired up to eight shots at Gray, killing him on the street where his kids live with their mother. In Monterey Park, Greg Mills, KCAL 9 News.